Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Lennis, the Tech Teacher, and welcome to Week 7 Robot Turtles Assignment. This is for all grades, and then I'll explain individually kinder first grade, and then also second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, on up, okay? Let's get started. So, for this video this week, um, I'm showing you pictures of what your Robot Turtles is going to look like. So this first example is going to be for second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. This previous week, in week six, we introduced our power-ups. Now for week seven, we are introducing the larger board. We're going to take our turtles and accessories, our parts, outside of the little cardboard box game boards. And now we're going into a larger game board. This game board is 8x8, eight eight, 64 squares. And so we need at least four players. This could also work for three players. But four players is going to be our goal for this week. And possibly, maybe we could squeeze in a fifth. I'm not too sure. But four players at, uh, is ideal. At least three players. And so you'll see this first uh, version. I'm going to show you four different versions of playing with this larger game board. Again, this is for second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. Our gems, diamonds, are going to start in the center. Everyone's going to have their own color this time. All right. Our turtles start in the corners. And you'll notice that however the turtles start in the corners, if they end up having to get lasered and respawn back to the beginning, they'll have to start the same way, please. But the idea is the same. Uh, I don't have the dice here to show you, but you want to roll your dice, take turns, figure out who's going first, and then you're going to go clockwise. All right. So if this mint and green turtle started first, then the next person is clockwise, the silver. Okay. Then, the, in other words, the player to the left, then the yellow player in this example, and then the black player. All right, so you go in a clock. In other words, start with one person, and then they go to the left. All right, and the goal is the same. Get to the diamond. Use those power-ups if you want to. If you don't, that's okay, too. Your choice. But the first person to get to their gem diamond wins. Or, if there's no winner, whoever's the closest at the end of the game. Let me show you another version. If you finish one game, here's another way to set it up. You could have the turtles in the center, and they're going to their diamonds in the corner. This is one version. Okay, or the second version I'm showing you, right? Turtles in the center, diamonds in the corner. Another fun version to play. Let me show you a third version. Third version would be having our turtles at one end and our diamonds on the other end, giving yourself some space. Now, unfortunately, one player will be against the wall, but then you want to give yourself some space in between each other turtle, all right? The last version is a little bit crazy. Maybe you'll want to do it, maybe you won't. Um, it's a little unbalanced, and I'll tell you why. So all the diamonds are diagonal in the center. Our turtles are in the corners again. But just so you know, some of these turtles are a little closer to their diamonds than others. Black turtle, I believe, and gray turtle are seven spaces away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces away. My mint green turtle and my yellow green turtle are probably at least eight spaces away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I guess I could have switched these around. Maybe I could have put the yellow here and the mint green here, and then that would probably be seven. One, two, three, four, five. No, that would be six. That would be a little too short. But anyways, you get the idea. Change it up. Have some fun. At least start off with this basic version. This basic version is actually how the actual board game starts. In the corners, eight by eight square. Gems are all in the center. The real board game plays like this. My kinders and first graders, you're going to continue to play my two-player game version of this. I don't have the picture here available, but basically kinders and first graders will continue to play my two-player version of this game. All right? So, Panthers, this is week seven of Robot Turtles. We're going big, like my introductory video said. I hope you have fun. Can't wait to see you in person to try this out. Bye for now.